Today's quote is by Joseph Fort Newton, and I quote, We can't tell what may happen to us in this strange medley of life, but we can decide what happens in us, how we can take it, what we do with it, and that is what really counts in the end, end quote. I really, really like this quote. In fact, I use this quote for um, like the very first section of my book because a big part of emotional intelligence is our ability to take responsibility for our emotions and how we let the world around us affect us internally. There's a great book, I'm, I'm blanking on the name of the author, but I believe the title of the book is One Man's Search for Meaning. And it's written by a Holocaust survivor who talks about his experience in the concentration camps and how he noticed, and he was also a psychologist, and how he noticed that when he was in the concentration camps with other prisoners, that prisoners who had a less positive outlook on life died far sooner than other people. And this was this kind of common theme. And so he was he was starting to take note of this. And regardless of how cruel they were treated and starved and deprived of necessities, um, honestly, I know I could not manage in a situation like that, but he prevailed because of the mindset that he chose to have. He talked about how his mind was an escape from reality. And while he was not free in the outside world, he was free within his mind. So I think that is so important for us to take note of that because we can easily get stuck in the victim mentality if things happen to us and that we have no control over things. But the truth is, while we may not be able to control certain things in our environment and within situations, we do have control how we react to it. So I think this is a wonderful quote to start with for the Sunday quote of the days and just a great way to start your week. So I hope that was insightful. Um, Next Monday will be our typical traditional interview podcast release. So I hope you'll join us. But until then, live and lead with an open heart and an open mind.